we're going to bond a fan shell, glass fan shell design onto the outside of the shower screen. Before I do that, I have my pattern, which we're going to place in a manner on the shower screen, inside the shower screen surface, and we're just going to tape it into position. Now using uh, this is a China Graph, glass China Graph pencil, but any, any Nikko felt pen will do, whether it be permanent or not, is I'm going to trace around the outside design of our glass shell pattern. Now what, um, what will happen here is we'll remove the stencil and the glass pieces will be bonded on from the outside. Once we've, we've drawn all our pieces, simply remove our pattern and we have our shell outline drawn on the glass. Now obviously we've cleaned the outside and the inside of the glass. That's the first step we do. Um, there's two ways of curing. We're going to cure it from inside the shower screen. Our glass pieces are going to be put on the outside of the shower screen. So using our standard white compact fluoro tube. Uh, we have two ways. One is you can get a helper, somebody on the inside holding the light here as you bond the pieces and follow the pattern from the outside. You can get a chair, you can get a ladder to hold your simple lamp on. Or we're using a, a suction cap and a little bit of wire. We can place the lamp like such, fix the suction cap, and our light covers the area now that we're working on. Now I can go out by myself without anybody's help and bond all my pieces on using Nano 470 glass to glass white light adhesive. Now we're ready to do our bonding. Uh, we have our glass pieces that have already uh, been loosened from the plastic and cleaned. We have our adhesive. Our adhesive is a mild irritant and it can affect some skin, so it's advisable just to use some uh, disposable gloves, uh, some tight ones to, put, uh, to protect our skin. Now when we're uh, putting our pieces on the glass, we're going to start from the lower pieces and work up. Uh, this is obvious as we put the piece on, the excess adhesive is going to run down. Doing that, make sure that our area is covered, we have enough tissues around us or paper or drop sheets so that the tiles, carpet, etc. Don't, doesn't get excess adhesives on. So I'm going to start with uh, this piece here and um, move up the pattern. Starting with that piece, make sure it's the right piece, that one goes to that side, this piece here. To here. These smaller pieces, we're just going to use uh, a little bit, drop of adhesive in the middle, spread it out a little bit. Very important to get it to the edges. Now, we're going to hold it into position, so it's a good idea to get down with your pattern at eye height, and hold it over the pattern. Now, we've purposely spaced the pattern out so that they don't actually butt up or join. Um, this is so that um, one, it gives a good glass edge, glass edge effect. Uh, the second one is that we can be a little bit out on our pattern, doesn't really matter. Now, what I'm doing, I'm holding it as, as um, still as I can, the piece, so that we don't want the glass piece moving during um, the curing process. So I'm just keeping it over our pattern on the, uh, on the inside of the shower screen. Should take approximately 30 seconds and just trying to keep it as still as possible and making sure that the piece is going right around the outside. Now the piece is bonded on, what I'm going to do is just wipe a bit of that excess adhesive off without going into the other areas where I'm going to be bonding next. What this does is just minimise my clean up time. So just... That tissue I'm going to keep to the side there and uh, use it again in a minute. I pick up my other glass piece and these are quite small again, so just a little dog. And 
a little gentle push in the middle and a little wiggle around and that will remove or push out any air bubbles to the sides, to the edges and again just hold it nice and still following my pattern for about 30 seconds depends on the temperature if it's a very hot day um, or you're using a higher powered light bulb this is a 11 watt compact fluoro tube um, light bulb we're using here if you use an 18 watt it's going to cure a lot quicker and again if you use an 8 watt it's going to cure a lot slower we're going to do this bigger piece in the middle now as we're working up our shell body um, to put on the adhesive for bigger pieces even though I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up I'm going to go all the way up the length and go out to the edges Good idea to put a little bit more adhesive on than less than you need because you don't want to be caught short. And the more adhesive you have on, as you can see this bubble here, as I push in the centre, he's going out to the side. So I'm just moving around, making sure that I get adhesive on all the tips, out to all the tips. You can use your finger to push adhesive around for you. Once I've got it into position, now really you've got about 10 15 seconds with the light on to get it into position. Um, you can turn the light off and then turn the light back on, but you need a second person to do that. So, using a lower wattage bowl, so using a 11 watt compact fluoro or an 8 watt compact fluoro, might take you a little bit longer in curing time, but it will give you a little bit longer in um, eliminating any bubbles. Uh, in the process. Okay, just putting the last piece on. If you have a bit of uh, adhesive residue spill over onto a, an area, just get it clean over with a tissue or wipe over like that. Get to eye height. The adhesive flow up, over, and out to all of the edges. Okay, when you get into position, you just clamp your fingers on, hold it nice and still, and just let the white light cure it. Okay, all our pieces are bonded on. Didn't take very long at all. Doesn't matter if they're not exactly over. And that's the beauty of having the, uh, the gap between them all. So we just clean it all up. Just with a tissue. This is our first clean. So just turning off our light. Cleaning our marks off just with uh, some shellite or methylated spirits. Just cleaning down our pattern now, just using detergent water to spray detergent on. What we're going to use is a 3M scour, a white scour. These are delicate scourers, they don't scratch glass. What we're going to do is just go around our shell to remove any excess adhesive. Now we cut these scourers into little squares. So this is one of our lip free tissues. Wipe down our area. By doing this, we can see where we uh, need to pay more attention with our scourer. And you may need to do this a couple of times. Scourer, tissue, scourer, tissue. Using detergent to, this, uh, to make money or whether you're doing this just for decoration. It's very quick, simple and easy. And if it's a child or a professional person, the results should all be similar using our Nano 470 white light adhesive.